UFC lightweight superstar Patty Pimblett is a natural entertainer. He's known for his explosive fighting style inside the cage along with his loud personality. Just recently, the 27-year-old was caught on a video doorbell apologizing to a nice lady for his dog's sloppy and with less than a month remaining in UFC 282, the baddie has issued a warning ahead of his clash against Jared Gordon. Keep watching for more. First up, is that Patty the baddie? Pimblet is one of those guys who makes everything so much more funny and wholesome. Whatever he does, he does it with the utmost class, and that's what makes him such a lovable character at the UFC. In just three fights, he's managed to gather a massive following with fans from all over the world. His most recent outing wasn't inside the cage, but actually on the streets of his hometown. Patty was taking a stroll on a cold, windy night when his dog decided to drop a really sloppy on a woman's lawn. Instead of just leaving it like the majority of people do, Pimblet rang the doorbell and asked for water or something so he could clean it up. The woman didn't even care about the mess his dog left and was blown away by the fact that she was talking to the baddie. Is that Patty the baddie? She told the UFC star not to worry about the mess and that she'd clean it up as soon as she got home. Pimblet still felt pretty bad. Hello, love. Um, it should, my dog's just had like a sloppy <laughs> outside. I was just wondering if you got some water. I don't want to leave it outside. That's you can't and kept asking for something so he could clean it up himself. But the woman was a total gem. The baddie thanked her before leaving and later shared the video on his Instagram talking about how he hates it when people don't clean after their dogs. We're not too sure who's lucky in all of this, though. The generous lady who got to talk to him or Patty, who didn't have to clean the dog's sloppy poo. Next, winning the internet. When he's not dominating inside the cage, Patty can often be found going viral on social media. Prior to this doorbell video, the 27-year-old got a lot of attention after doing a couple of podcasts including some vlogs. It's the drug scene. I'm actually tired from us being as cameraman right now. That's disgusting. It was like... And you know what makes him so much more likable than other UFC fighters? He's super authentic. He doesn't try to pretend to be someone he's not, and instead, enjoys being himself on social media. His videos are crazy entertaining, and touch up on some really meaningful topics as well. But the doorbell video has really taken over. It's official, guys. Patty has won the internet. His video was liked by football legend Wayne Rooney, with Liverpudlian musician James Webster calling it one of the best things he's ever seen. Patty is like a mellowed-down version of Conor McGregor. He's raw and doesn't really care about what people think of him. But at the same time, he's not as aggressive and ruthless as the Irishman. He's also really big on community and giving back to his people. So we reckon that's one of the reasons why everyone enjoyed this video so much. He might be a global superstar with hundreds and thousands of dollars, but he's still willing to take one for his dog and scoop his mess off someone's lawn. Oh, and we're not sure if you guys noticed. You sure? I just I feel, I feel terrible, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, it's all right. He's just sloppy shit and I can't even pick it up with a poo bag, know what I mean? But did you see how fit he looks now? It seems like he won't have to go through hell to make weight for UFC 282. Moving on, doing things differently. Patty's not taking his next outing lightly, as he's in phenomenal shape for his fight against the exciting Jared Gordon on December 10th at UFC 282. This is probably going to be his most difficult fight to date, but there's a difference in his approach here. Instead of dropping a crazy amount of weight in the last month before the fight, Patty looks really good. He had to cut an odd 20 kilos, and instead of dragging the dreadful act to the very last moment, he's done it with a good two weeks still left in the fight. Patty is known for notoriously ballooning up to more than 200 pounds whenever he isn't fighting. His weight cuts are really scary to watch, but we're glad he's decided to do things differently this time around. Dana has talked about how difficult it is to schedule a fight for the Brit since his weight is always an issue. And just because Pimblet can drop so much weight right now doesn't mean it's sustainable or something. No, sir. How long can he keep it up? Another two or three fights? Maybe. It'll eventually start taking a toll on his body and even lead to some really average performances. So yeah, we're happy he's in good shape way ahead of his fight. We can't wait to see him at UFC 282. And speaking of 282, let's talk a little more about Patty's plan to knock Jared out at the T-Mobile Arena. Following up, time to get bingo. Patty is not coming slow as he continuously tries to get inside Gordon's head with just two weeks left in their matchup. The 27-year-old Liverpudlian talked about how he has a training partner who's almost identical to Jared. Both of them are the same weight and height and even throw the same type of punches. So it's like Patty has been fighting a clone of Gordon ahead of their matchup and he thinks that's really going to help in breaking him down. 
know what I mean? But what are you learning here, lad? It's a striking, isn't it? Yeah, all the bottom and all the fundamentals. He likes to say striking coach Chris lately as well, because he's been adding kicks in. We're not going to lie. It's a really interesting theory, to say the least. And who knows? Maybe he does have a training partner really similar to Jerry, but he still needs to be careful. Underestimating Flash could cost him his perfect 3-0 UFC record. Pimblett also talked about how Jared pitter-patters his way to a win. And if you don't know what that means, then don't worry. We've got you covered. Instead of committing 100%, Jared likes to hang around in the fight and collect points to score an easy win via decision. He isn't exactly all out like Pimblet and would much rather avoid the fire and scout points here and there to push things in his favor. The Brit, on the other hand, is super confident all the pitter padding won't be enough as he'll bingo Jared to seal the deal. It'll be difficult though, we can tell you that much. Gordon has won four out of his last five fights as he enters the cage on the 10th of December in good form with a lot of momentum. Up next, Patty's evolution as a fighter. The bad has come a really long way from his amateur fighting days. He's always been a really good fighter with a positive record. But did you know he actually won the majority of fights via submissions? Yep, we might know him for his flashy moves and knockouts inside the cage, but he's quite the strategist. He likes to take his time and size his opponents up before getting them in a really awkward position to get in a lock or hold. But why are all of his opponents afraid to enter the line of fire when fighting him? Well, it's because of his evolution as a fighter. His high-level grappling has always been a game changer, but it's actually his stand-up game Game that's causing trouble for the division. He just doesn't back. And he's got that oh, he's up the Jump one, done it. Did Pimblet. Down no matter what. Whoever has the guts to face him in a blowout exchange either gets slept or badly hurt. Patty has managed to put away six opponents via knockouts, and as impressive as that must sound, there's another problem he'll have to worry about. He's trying to stop a really determined fighter as he steps inside the cage on December 10th. Not only is Gordon on a tremendous roll, but he's only been put away a total of five times in his professional MMA career. Last but not least, is he ready for the big boys? Patty faces a lot of criticism for not having fought ranked opponents yet, and if we're being honest, that's a little unfair. It's Dana who sits in a room with top UFC executives and schedules fights. All Pimblet does is sign the contract. And he's actually asked Uncle Dana multiple times to start giving him ranked opponents, but the boss has a condition. He wants Patty to stop ballooning up to 200 pounds between fights and start dancing with the big boys. And that's not because he has a personal problem with him or something. It's because scheduling fights is really difficult since there's always a question mark whether he'll make weight. He's been seen a few years, but as I say, when I end up fighting ranked opponents, I'm not going to do this. I just I mean, know what can do now. White worrying about you right now. Dana I know what I mean. Like, is the not more, more... more but the Brit is also holding his ground as well and claims he'll stop doing that once Dana gives him a ranked opponent. And don't get us wrong, we're not taking anything away from Gordon, but by ranked opponents, he means the top five guys. If you ask us, this fight will be a decider. If he's able to get an impressive victory over Jared at UFC 282, the promotion will have to start matching him up against tougher fighters to see whether he's ready. He's already being called a future champion, so what's the harm? Why not make him share the cage against a dominant fighter to see if he has what it takes? That's it from our side, folks. So what do you think? Can Patty put away Jared Gordon at UFC 282? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.